And of course, honestly, curl works just fine with SSL and TLS and HTTPS. It doesn't have any problem at all getting those sites. The problem is by default, curl does not follow redirects. So a lot of times it seems like it's not working. And how this all came about is my friend, Chris Acapinti today in on his YouTube channel, I'll put a link in to his video below. Uh, he made a video on how to get your IP address, like your local IP address. And then also on the Linux command line, how to get your public IP address, like the one that you access the internet with and the tool that he used to get the public IP address is a site called ifconfig.me. You basically curl that site and it will return your IP address. And I thought, oh, wow, this is really cool. I actually created code myself so that I have my own, like, what's your IP um, website that I just query and, and I get that information back. And so I'll make a video on it. And so that's what this was going to be. And I did, and it worked until it didn't. So let me show you exactly the problem and then I'll show you how I solved it and I might fib and I won't tell you that it really took me like two and a half hours to figure out exactly how to make it work. I'll just pretend that in, in one moment I knew exactly what to do. Not really. Anyway, this is how it's supposed to work. And, um, this is, uh, yeah, let's just check it out. So first of all, if we go to ifconfig.me, which is the one that Chris actually mentioned, it will give you your IP address. It gives you actually a bunch of other information, but it gives you your IP address, okay? And so I made code and then I hosted it on a web server. And so if we do myip.snar.co, snar.co is my own domain, and I press enter, it returns, sure enough, the same IP address. And I thought, cool, I can make a video on how I did this. It'll be super simple and really nice. The problem is when I came over to a terminal and I wanted to like, you know, practice to make sure it was going to work. If you do curl, if config.me, it returns the IP address perfectly fine. Like, look at that. That's awesome. However, if you do curl my IP dot snar dot co, nothing. And that really drove me bonkers. I could not figure out why. And the reason is for a web hosting server, I generally use a program called Caddy. And I've talked about Caddy on the channel before. It's really awesome. It's powerful. It does reverse proxying. It does web serving. I just, I love Caddy. But uh, for one of the reasons that I love it so much is all you do is make like a, a tiny little um, entry. And I'll show you that in a second. And it creates a web server. It gets certificates. It serves out automatically via SSL, you know, your TLS using HTTPS. So it's really super easy and there's no maintenance it does it all behind the scenes but the problem is curl the program the command line curl does not follow redirects and that's how it makes it go from http to https it does a redirect and then you know that's how it serves out the secure stuff but since curl doesn't do that if you do that thing i just did on the command line it fails and it drove me bonkers until i finally figured out what's going on so if we look we're going to do curl dash V for verbose if config.me. And what this will show us is, um, all the information like the headers and stuff. Right. And so, okay. It, it, it served out HTTP 200. Okay. And if you'll notice it did not do any redirects at all. It just served it via HTTP instead of HTTPS. And if we go to, let's clear the screen. If we do curl dash V of my IP dot snar dot co will see that it tries to redirect it to the HTTPS site. Now, every other browser or, you know, like a Firefox or Chrome or whatever will automatically redirect. And that's why it worked when we did it in the browser. So what I needed to do is make sure that either I do curl dash L for follow redirects of my IP dot snar dot co. And then see, it does the same thing as the if config me one, either I do that or I somehow tell my server that if curl is trying to load the page that I will not redirect it to SSL, just like the if config dot me site does. And that's the part that took me so long to figure out how to specify a conditional inner redirect inside the caddy configuration file. 
Oof. But I got to figure it out and I'll show you. I'm actually going to paste it all into the description too. So if you want to try this out, you can. First of all, let's look at the code, right? Now, there's a couple different ways that you can get the IP information when somebody hits your website, right? You can do it with like jQuery in JavaScript. And what that will do is uh, it'll basically run on the user's browser, right? JavaScript is the client side thing. So it will execute in the browser and it will give you uh, the user's IP address. And by give you, I mean, it'll give the user, right? I didn't want to use JavaScript to do it because I wanted everything to be done server side. So if somebody had disabled JavaScript for whatever reason, it would still return that IP address. So what I did is I used PHP and it's very simple in PHP. And I'll show you that the PHP code, um, which again was going to be the whole video, but ended up being just the small part of it. So let's look at that. And then I'll show you what I did to make caddy actually work for curl. So here I am, I'm in my caddy server and I'm in a folder var www my IP. And I just, if we look, there's one file and this is all it takes to return that IP address, right? It says, you know, either return the HTTPX forwarded for IP address or just the remote address, depending on how the request comes in. And it just returns it directly to the screen. So this is the entire PHP uh, file. That's all the code required to return that IP address. And that's why I thought, hey, this is going to be super simple. I'll just show everybody this. And I will paste this into uh, the description so you can actually make a PHP file to do this if you want. Okay. So that was working just fine. But again, we ran into that issue with curl. And so what I ended up doing is changing the default caddy configuration. Now, first of all, I've talked about caddy before, but let's actually look at the caddy configuration for this particular um, domain. So my ip.snar.co is right here. This is all you have to do when you're setting up a web server for using caddy. And I just have the domain here. And then this is just the information like to make PHP work and like where the files are going to be stored and stuff. And it does all the HTTPS stuff automatically. It downloads certs from Let's Encrypt. It puts them in place. It keeps them renewed. It's just super awesome. And that's all I had to do. But again, I wanted to make it so that it did not give HTTPS redirects when curl tried to hit that server. <laughs> And so that's the part that took me a long time. What I did is I actually used a different domain so that I could experiment, okay? And that different domain, let's clear the screen. Actually, I'll show you on the web browser. So this is myip.snar.co. I created another one that's just called ip.snar.co. And it does the same exact thing. In fact, it uses the exact same PHP code, but you'll notice here it redirected to HTTPS and it returned this IP address. Okay. So it works exactly the same as this one. Uh, the size is just because I zoomed in here, but, uh, notice, I mean, it did, it redirected to HTTPS, it redirected to HTTPS here, but here's the difference on the command line. I can say curl ip.snar.co and it actually works. And if we look curl dash V ip.snar.co, just like with that site, if config.me, it returns using HTTP, even though we saw that in the web browser redirected to HTTPS. So what I had to do is I had to put some logic in the configuration. And this is where it gets a little bit crazy. Okay. If we look at etc. caddy ip.conf. So this is the new one. It's a little bit more complicated. Now there's a lot going on here, but I'm just going to quickly explain it. And I'll paste this into the description too, in case you want to see this uh, for yourself. So you can try it on your own. But if you don't want caddy to automatically redirect everything to HTTPS, you have to specify that you want it to listen on both HTTP and HTTPS. So here in the server declaration, instead of just having ip.snar.co, I have HTTP colon slash slash ip.snar.co comma HTTPS colon slash slash ip.snar.co. And it still does the SSL certificates and everything automatically and keeps it updated, but it will actually respond on HTTP and it won't auto redirect to HTTPS. However, I want it to redirect to HTTPS for everything except curl, just getting the root path, right? I just want curl to re be able to receive index.html and get it via HTTP. So here's where it gets a little bit crazy. This is called a named 
matcher. And basically what I'm doing is I'm creating almost like a variable called not curl. And then I will later use that to say, I want you to redirect anything that is not curl. And I want you to redirect it to HTTPS instead of HTTP. So I do want everything redirected to HTTPS, which is what this line does. But if the user agent is curl and the path is forward slash, I don't want you to actually redirect to HTTPS. So what this does is it's like, if the request is coming in via HTTP and it is not the user agent of curl trying to get forward slash, so trying to get the path, then I want you to redirect to HTTPS. But if it is curl getting the root path, then don't do this, right? Then just ignore this line altogether and just serve it out via HTTP. Hopefully that makes sense. Study this a little bit more to see if the, the not backwards and logic makes sense. But basically what this is saying is I want you to redirect everything except curl that is trying to get the root path of the server. Once you set it up this way, it redirects everything else so that curl still works on the command line, but you can still serve everything else out securely. Now, if you're not using caddy, you can do this redirect scripting magic with every like Apache and Nginx, they all do that sort of thing. But caddy is what I really love and what I use a lot. And that's what I spent the time on today is trying to figure out how to make it work for curl and still be secure for everything else. So anyway, that's how it worked. I'll put all that stuff below. I'll link to Chris's video as well. And remember to learn everything, do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. This is the kind of stuff I love to do. So I'm sorry that we went down a weird rabbit hole, but hopefully you enjoyed it and play with the code that I'm pasting below. Maybe you'll have some fun and maybe you'll figure out an even better way of doing it. If so, let me know in the comments because this is the best way I could figure out to make curl work and still serve everything else up using HTTPS. Anyway, see you next time.